All right, so today we're going to be doing problem 1.5. So 1.5 says the most powerful engine available for classic 1963 Chevrolet Stingray developed 360 horsepower and had a displacement of 327 cubic inches. Express the displacement in liters by using only the conversions 1 liter equals 1,000 centimeters cubed and one inch equals 2.4 centimeters. So really, all we need to worry about is the displacement, which is 320, 327 inches cubed. And we're just going to convert that into liters. Now when I do a conversion problem, the way that I like to set it up is I like to use ratios because I can say well I'm going to multiply by one and that's not going to change anything and I can use these ratios I can express these as a ratio for instance like if I want to eliminate the inches cubed here because that's not the unit I want so I'm going to go here I have a ratio with inches I can say one inch I'm going to put this at the bottom so that it helps try this other side. One inch, I'm gonna put that at the bottom so it cancels out there. Oh, divided over, uh, so one inch on the bottom there, and if we put one, 2.4 centimeters. Now these two things are equal here, 2.4, Five four centimeters and one inch. Worker's kind of dead. I'm gonna use a different one. But those two things are equal. So that's equal to one. Now I can actually go ahead and cube this because I want to get rid of my cubed inches. And that's still going to be one. One cubed is still one. So that's not actually going to change anything. And what I get here is we actually get 327 and the inch inches cubed times 2.54 to the third times centimeters cubed over one because one cubed is one inch cubed. Now obviously these cancel out, which is what we want. That's why we set it up that way. And now I have centimeters cubed, which leaves me one step closer because I can actually use this here. That we have 1,000 centimeters cubed is the same as one liter. So we can multiply by one again. We can set it up as a ratio. We're going to put our centimeters cubed on the bottom so that that cancels out and one liter on the top because those two the numerator and denominator are equal so we can do that and now if we do that obviously these are going to cancel out our units there what we're actually going to end up with is 327 times 2.5 to the third liters divided by 1,000. Now if you put this number into your calculator, you're going to get an answer out, and it's actually going to be, if you're using the correct number of significant figures, 5.36 liters. And that is the displacement in liters.